hello everyone welcome back to the channel today i have something super exciting to talk to you about because i really am getting into the habit of releasing and letting go when i start my day and so i want to come to you guys and tell you how i've been able to release resistance i'm just going to tell you right now it only takes 17 seconds to start to see a shift in your reality and i'm going to explain exactly to you what i mean when i say that but let's just start out with like i've been getting a lot of comments or just like throughout my coaching clients and you know me just being a mindset and manifestation coach a lot of people that are just like coach how can i actually release resistance my 3d circumstances around me are happening how come everybody's telling me to ignore my 3d circumstances and i want to be honest with you you do not have to ignore the 3D circumstances in order to release resistance. Remember, as we are moving and going through our day, we're shifting states every single moment. And so it would kind of be counterproductive to try to ignore things that are going on around you. Instead, what I want you to start doing is allowing yourself to feel your emotions allowing yourself to actually acknowledge how you're feeling so that you can get it out of your system because remember we want to recalibrate our nervous system your body is reacting to all these things that are going on in your life and the reason why a lot of people find it hard to release resistance is because you're constantly being stimulated with ignoring your 3d circumstances uh, you can't you can't manifest this way or if you do robotic affirmations then you're actually not really persisting the right way or whatever weird rules that people are making up on the internet I want to tell you do not give up on the things you desire to have just because your circumstances are showing you what you don't want if anything use this as an opportunity to shed away the old patterns of thinking, to allow yourself some grace. Some days you're not gonna be 100%. And some days you're not gonna feel like affirming. That's okay. It's not going to necessarily get in the way of you manifesting your deepest desires. What it will do is allow you to release and let go. All right, so I want you to breathe through your 3D circumstances. You can name any of them right now. If you are going through being evicted from your house or you and your specific person are not seen eye to eye or your, your health is taking a turn, these things are happening. So instead of pushing them away and saying, oh, I'm just going to ignore them and kind of just like go into this state of delusion, yes, but you don't want to be so delusional where you're neglecting your feelings that's where i kind of draw draw the line with delusional thinking if being delusional is causing you stress then i want you to release and let go of that and start to really breathe do some deep breathing for like 10 seconds just breathe and your body will recalibrate itself test this for yourself you don't have to take my word for it test it for yourself now let's go into what you're doing when you're doing your 17 seconds of pure focus. This is what I have been doing and this is what I would teach you to do as a coach or as somebody who is in my membership that I have outside of YouTube called the Sweet Spot Membership. Just, you know, shameless plug. Check it down in the description box if you want to know more about the community that I've built with like-minded people. We study manifestation, law of assumption, law of attraction. We have weekly challenges. I have master classes. And the really great thing about the membership is that we have a private WhatsApp group that we communicate with each other in every single day. So at the top of the hour, you're getting positivity and insights. And in the middle of the day, people are sharing success stories. And at the end of the night, you usually will get a message from me prompting you to go into state akin to sleep or to fall asleep in a wish fulfilled. I take really great pride in building this community and I take really great pride in the people that have joined. I have a lot of great people 
my membership is eight months old so um yeah if you really are interested in like-minded community-based manifestation people <laughs> then check out the description box down below okay so back to the 17 seconds of pure concentration what do you do in 17 seconds okay so let's just go ahead and do 17 seconds immediately I'm gonna focus in my mind and I'm going to speak out of my mouth something that I'm working towards and I'm going to rampage for 17 seconds or more because I'm not gonna look at the counter I'm just gonna rampage and I'm gonna show gratitude I'm so thankful that my life is unfolding in amazing ways people places and circumstances conform to my reality look at all the beautiful things that I have manifested I have love all around me I have family I have friends I have a beautiful membership of people who give me such a beautiful energy that help me to understand that I am creating something that's going to give to the world that's going to create a better life for people that come into my environment I am fulfilling my purpose I'm so thankful that I've been given the opportunity to be a part of a movement of people who are consciously manifesting their desired reality. I'm so thankful that I get to wake up each and every day doing what I love to do. I'm so thankful that I get to actually teach people how to manifest the life of their dreams. I'm pretty sure that was 17 seconds <laughs> or more. Do you know how good I feel now? That was just a 17 second rampage. Whenever you feel like your 3D circumstances are getting the best of you, just take 17 seconds. You can even put it in your phone and program it. And just give gratitude. Just out of your mouth or in your mind, just give gratitude. I'm so thankful. Be thankful for the things you have. And also be thankful for the things that you're calling in. Whatever you are creating in your reality, pause each and every time you feel doubt, fear, or sadness just for 17 seconds and you'll build the momentum you'll build the momentum and before you know it you will start to see a shift I want you to also get into the habit if you feel resistance towards something in your 3d reality to start to say to yourself wouldn't it be nice wouldn't it be nice to wake up tomorrow and actually have ten thousand dollars in my bank account wouldn't it be nice for me to get up tomorrow and see that my specific person has messaged me beautiful words. Wouldn't it be nice actually releases the resistance around your desire and it's going to help tremendously. This is why your 3D circumstances never matter because you always have control over your focus. You always get to decide what you're going to focus on. So I want to reiterate with you to never give up on the things you desire to have just because you're seeing something that you don't like and I'm gonna tell you too from experience it's gonna feel like nothing is happening oh but no 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 things are always moving always moving Neville Goddard talks about circumstances and how you have to kinda close and shut your mind away from things but see, here's the thing. Even though you may shut your mind away from the things, you're still not ignoring your 3D reality. You're just shutting your mind off. And you're going into your imagination. And you're dwelling in your imagination. You're not ignoring the 3D. You're just dwelling in your imagination. So throughout the day, whenever you're going about your day, dwell in your imagination. Keep telling yourself that things are always working out of my favor. Wouldn't it be nice? You can listen to one of my beautiful meditations. I'll post those up here. So these are just things that I want you to know that will help you. Be easy. Breathe easy. This reality that you're creating is yours to create. And the circumstances, they never matter. Because what you do in your mind is always going to trump the circumstances. No pun intended. Okay? <laughs> Don't come for me in the comments. <laughs> Okay, so do your girl a solid and give me a thumbs up, give me a heart, a comment or something, all right? Because those things help the algorithm to know that you guys are enjoying the content. Peace be unto you 
release, let go, love, and light. All right, bye-bye.